Seven YouTube channel. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you're aware that we ran into some snags with the AN line, so I've got much better ones on the way, Russell's to match all of my fittings. Uh, so today, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna knock out the one year service on the trailer. Should be pretty simple. Uh, we're just gonna pull uh, the hubs off, repack the bearings, inspect the tires. Uh, I'm gonna pull off these casters on the back and we're gonna finish securing the deck that we should have secured a long time ago. So follow along, hopefully you learn something. This is about an annual thing. You should do it about once a year or before any major trips. Say you're gonna drive a thousand miles one way, I'd highly recommend you do this service just as a preventative measure. All right guys, this is your typical wheel hub assembly for most trailers. Not all, but most light duty trailers are gonna have a very similar setup. So, we're gonna go ahead and start the disassembly process. Okay, first thing first, always take off a wheel. Easy, easy. Now, is this necessary? Hook around the roadside? No. If you're doing it for service, you might as well. One, it gives you an opportunity to verify that the wheel will come off if you blow one. And two, it's just easier to manipulate. There we go, wheels off. Now, this is your bearing cap. Along the edge here, you'll see there's a seam to it. We're gonna take them very gently. Using the side of this hammer, normally I'd use a soft blow. We're gonna tap a flathead into that seam. To open it up just until it pops don't beat the car out of it don't deform it just just get it to move and work your way around eventually you'll get the gap pretty even then you can come at it at a different angle more of a back to front and the cap will pop there you have it the next part's not so fun we gotta try and get this cotter key out of here. Okay. Now is it a world ender to get it out? No. Is it annoying? Yes. Needle nose pliers are a game changer with this task, but I don't have them. Well, I have them, I just don't have them out here and I don't feel like going inside to get them. So. go. I'm going to slide this into the eyelet on that side and just get some taps to get the pull out. Or not. It should. It just isn't. No. Still got some ways to go on this one. There we go. A lot less ways to go. And there we go. One cotter key. Next is the nut, and the nut should be really easy to get out, okay? This nut should, yeah, finger tight, literally finger tight. Should not have anything to it. Because there is no torque on this, only on the first installation of brand new bearings do you have a preload. So there's that, and behind that, there's a taper bearing, and a washer. All right, now the hub will come off. Easy peasy. Now I'm gonna quick dig some of the grease out of here so that I can get to the back side of this seal and bearing and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to get that out. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take this screwdriver and I'm gonna go against the back side of this bearing and I'm gonna give it a love tap Love tap, love tap, love tap, working around it in crisscrosses until it pushes that seal out. That'll avoid damaging that seal. Now, normally I would put brand new seals in, but I don't have them today, and apparently they're very difficult to get for this, so we're just going to reuse them for now. The bearing and seal both pushed out simultaneously, and this seal is shot. Nope, nope, just the uh, spring popped on it. We'll clean it up and look. It looks like it's shot, yes. So this seal is shot. We'll go ahead and get a replacement ordered before we reassemble this side. So I'll finish the video off showing you how to assemble the other side.
All right, guys, now that we've gone and disassembled everything, we've taken some time and worked with the solvent, and we have removed all the grease from the inside, inspected the bearing races to make sure there's no grooving, pitting, or wear. If there is, I would highly recommend replacing your bearings. You're also going to inspect your bearing rollers and make sure they're nice and smooth. You'll see some little black specks. That's because they're still dirty. These need to be hit one more time with some brake parts cleaner, but you want to remove all the old grease and grime. Typically, you would buy a new seal, but like I explained earlier, I don't have seals today. I'll probably pop it apart and put new seals in later this season, but for now, I was able to remove these without any damage, so these are going to be reused. Then you're going to clean up your spindle, inspect for a wear ring where that seal rides, inspect for wear on the spindle itself, which I don't see any, and we're going to go ahead and pack these bearings. Now packing bearings is not a joy. It's not anything anyone enjoys doing or wants to do, but it's something that has to be done. So you're going to grab a handful of grease. And we're going to take and we're just going to push this in, 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 until it starts pushing grease out the back side. And you'll start seeing the See where the grease is starting to push up around the bearings. We'll continue to do that until we get nice, good, clean grease coming out of there. This is nasty, and I highly recommend wearing gloves. I don't have gloves with me right now, otherwise I would be. And you're going to see it push all the old grease that I missed with the brake cleaner out. Which is good, because that means all that crud's going to get out of there. Alright. So I'm going to take them and clean off all this grease off the outside, and I'm going to pack it one more time. Yummy. Sure, if you make a lot of road trips, it is amazing. One nicely packed bearing. Alright, so now we're going to pack the living shit out of that spindle. Just put a bunch of grease in it. Normally you'd use a greaser. My greaser's broken off. So for now we're going to temporarily just shove a bunch of grease in it. There we go. Put this thing up on its face. Right, now I gotta remove all this grease from my hand. Somehow, miraculously, I gotta get it off. Let's go find something I can ruin. My hand's in the parts washer. Yep. That's what I'm doing. my life has come to washing my hands in a parts washer. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to take this hub and we're going to install one of the bearings. We're going to take this seal. We're going to reinstall it the same way it came out. If you get a new one, you do the same thing. Just install it the way you took it out. This is a lot easier with a seal driver, but if you work your way around equally and evenly, it will go in. There we go. We are flush. Get a little piece of grass out of there. Da -da -da -da. And we're going to go ahead and slide this onto the spindle.
next. We're going to take our other freshly packed bearing and slide it onto the spindle. All that wonderful grease in there. Take the washer. Slide it on. Sorry. There you go. So we've installed all that. We're going to go re ahead and reinstall our nut. Now this gets hand tightened. Do not hit it with an impact. Just until you start getting bearing drag. Right there, I got bearing drag. Just take it until it lines up with the next hole. Or back it off till it's back lined up with that hole. Whichever is more efficient, in this case, backing it off. There you go. No in and out play. Lined up. Take a rag and we're going to clean up this cotter pin a little bit and try and straighten it before we jam it in there. Because I uh, unfortunately bent the living shit out of it. I'm going to take, I'm probably going to insert it from the bottom. Apparently not. <laughs> Gosh, darned it. Pain in my butt. I'm gonna need a new rag anyway after this, so. I done put some rocks in here. I need to get them out of there. There we go. Nothing stupid. All right. I'm going to take and wipe off some of the grease I got on the outside of this. Because I got a lot of it on the outside. The dust cap goes back on the same way it came off. Just taps right on. There we go. One. Repacked wheel hub. I'm going to take, I got break clean of my eyeball. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on each side. Makes it easier to get them off later. Now we're going to reinstall the wheel. The brake cleaning the eyeball is not helping any of this at all. I'm doing this left eyed blind. Right. There we go. 
One freshly packed little bearing. We can go ahead and set her back down. And repeat on the other side. Dust cap goes back on the same way it came off, just taps right on. And there we go. One repacked wheel hub. I'm gonna take I got brick clean of my eyeball and I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease on each side. Makes it easier to get them off later. Then we're going to reinstall the wheel. The brake cleaning the eyeball is not helping any of this at all. I'm doing this left eyed blind. One freshly packed wheel bearing. We can go ahead and set her back down. And repeat on the other side. Well guys, as per everything going on this weekend, that didn't go exactly to plan. Uh, I gotta start hunting down one of those seals. I'm probably just gonna have to take the seal in and have it measured because uh, this trailer is produced in Wang Zhong Wing Nong Jing Yong Wang, China. Uh, it's a, what is it? A Hallmaster utility trailer with no service access number. I did find a VIN though, so I can at least uh, go and get a title on this thing finally, maybe a plate. Later, guys.